The man who made dirty jobs famous linked to a much different kind of job. Host Mike Rowe is a dead ringer for a man who robbed an Oregon bank. Well, you know what? Fortunately, he has an alibi <laughs> and a great sense of humor about it all. And we're going to talk to him live in only a, in a minute. But first, ABC's Kanan Whitworth has the story. On CNN's Somebody's Gotta Do It, Mike Rowe has tackled every profession, from bullfighter over there, over there. to blacksmith. Even posing as a man on the run from the law in an episode of Dirty Jobs. How do I look on the lamp? But these surveillance photos are sparking rumors he may have pulled his dirtiest job yet, bank robber. After this man, sporting shaggy brown hair and a light-colored ball cap, walked into a Medford, Oregon Chase Bank armed with a gun, and demanding cash. Police released the images on their Facebook page asking if anyone could ID the crook and immediately got flooded with one possible suspect, Mike Rowe. But we continue to get these tips about Mike Rowe. So we said that we are now looking for Mike Rowe thanks to your tips. Cops even joking on Facebook saying we issued an arrest warrant for Mike Rowe. Just kidding. Until the CNN host posted this photo with an alibi. I was in Kansas City and I can prove it. We're going to scratch them from our suspect list and move on to uh, other individuals. Being on the run is exhausting. For Good Morning America, Kana Whitworth, ABC News, New York. <laughs> well, joining us live here is the host of CNN. Somebody's got to do it. Mike Rowe. Mike, you have been such a great sport about this. You have you've done it all. You've had every job imaginable. How did you find out that people thought your next gig was a bank robber? Pretty much the same way I find out about everything these days, Robin. I was walking through an airport looking at my mobile device and checking <laughs> in on my Facebook page and realizing that three million people were saying, hey, you should check out the Medford police site because it sure looks like there's an all points bulletin out for you. <laughs> and I looked at it and I laughed and I said, no, you know, those guys have a great sense of humor. But I can't deny there is an uncanny resemblance, so I just fired off a quick little missive saying, hey, for what it's worth, uh, I'm in Kansas, so <laughs> be on the lookout for somebody who's shorter and less attractive. Oh, that's attractive. <laughs> but when you first saw that, that fake police re um, um, uh, warrant issue for you on Facebook, for a second there, did you wonder where you were <laughs> at that time? No, honestly, my first thought was, I know what the next call is going to be, and it was. It was my mother. Just please say... <laughs> Say you didn't do it, Michael. Say you didn't do it. You could have called us. There's so many things you could have done instead of this. So, did, did you reach yeah, out? That was my first thought. And actually, you know, what, what's funny is I've been to Medford. Uh, I shot a couple of times up there years ago at a, at a junkyard, I think, back in 2006. And I'm thinking, this is just too weird. There, there's so many weird connections between me and law enforcement and dirty jobs. And this is just... This is just one more. Wasn't there somebody, wasn't there a, a, an inmate, too, who has your, your name or something? That... So I was, I was sued by an inmate in North Dakota whose name is Mike Rowe, and he was upset on some sort of trumped-up copyright charge because he was getting a hard time in jail because of dirty jobs. And then uh, there's a cop also in Oregon in a little town called Beaverton, who's the PIO up there, the uh, public information officer. His name is Mike Rowe, so whenever he reports on a local crime, it pops up in Google alerts, and everybody thinks <laughs> I'm somehow involved in crime in Beaverton. And now there's a guy in Medford who looks like Mike Rowe, but isn't Mike Rowe. It's very confusing. You <laughs> I mean, I mean, speaking speaking of dirty job, on one episode of Dirty Job, you did run from the cops. You were on the lamb that was part of the show. But how was that? You said it was exhausting. Well, yeah, you know, I mean, you're an athlete. I'm not. I was 45. <laughs> uh, we put a couple of uh, GoPros on some bloodhounds in the course of talking about what it feels like to be chased through the woods. It was kind of a goofy thing, but the next thing you know, I'm dressed up in these striped pajamas running. <laughs> but as you said, you are not the bank robber, and we should look for somebody who looks like you but is less attractive, less attractive than you. Clearly, they got the wrong guy, Robin. They got <laughs> Clearly the they wrong do. guy. As I always, don't see the resemblance. You are a great sport, Mike, as always. Thank you.